Thanks, John. We're really excited because this is the moment that we wait for every year mm -hmm. because we're so honored that Rush Limbaugh, who is America's broadcaster, the only broadcaster, mm -hmm. really. I mean, if you get right down All to right, it. All right, we'll give it up to him. We uh, definitely will. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we bow down. It is a red, white, and blue day here on Troopathon. We have a showing of all the colors, and it is a way of life for our military men and women. Rush Limbaugh, our next guest, of course, is a patriot and a friend, and we're proud to have him on the broadcast. Hey, Rush, welcome back to your adopted hometown of Sacramento, California. Thank you so much. You know, I haven't, I, it's been way too long since I've been there, but you guys are making me feel like I'm at home. And I have to tell you something. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a chauvinist from the get-go, and you both look gorgeous. Thank you. you. Look, you we'll take you, that. You, Thank you. We'll take it. Rush, we'll take it. By the way, you don't look too bad yourself. Oh, yeah, look, look at, at you. you. You really do, and you're doing the Lord's work with this. You know, I I, uh, I marvel that you, you keep coming back every year for this, um, and you're there no matter what public opinion happens to be, wherever the culture happens to be, you are reliable, you can be counted on. I'm sure that the, uh, the military, uniformed uh, combat troops, everybody involved has the greatest appreciation for what you're doing. And you know, you're spending, you're, you're talking all about the other people that, that are helping you, and you're complimenting them, and you're you're, you're very uh, praiseworthy of all the things they're doing, but I tell you, you guys deserve all the credit for organizing this. It's easy as it can be to say, yes, I'd be happy to appear, but you're putting it all together and doing it, and you do it every year, and it's just a great thing. You know, Rush, um, for me, it, as you know, and, and we talked about this last year, it's very personal. My father was rescued by American troops, and um, my dad literally came to a riverbed, and was 90 pounds and six feet tall, and there were American troops on the other side saying, you're free, you're free. Uh, what do you want to tell people today? Because you think about just the incredible pressure that are on our troops, multiple deployments. Well, you know, you, you've talked about your dad. You've had some other guests that have. My dad was, was in World War II. He, uh, he flew P-51s in the China-Burma theater. And you know, whenever I would ask him about it, he wouldn't tell me. He, he didn't yeah. want to talk about it. You know, as a kid, you want to know, well, how many did you shoot out of the sky? Dad wouldn't talk about it. It was, it was something that was uh, very privately held and so forth. But we're, we're reaching a point here, ladies, generationally, where we've already elected a president who hasn't served. We've already elected a president who really doesn't have, I don't think, uh, the reverence uh, that, that many people have. And this is, it's generational. It's, uh, we're, we're reaching a point where a majority of Americans have not been alive when America is victorious in, in war or in battle. In fact, we're alive at a point where, uh, I don't know if it's a majority, but way too many people are impugning the military and criticizing it or looking at it as a, as a social experimentation playground or something. And I'll tell you what, the older I get, the more in awe I become of what they do because they all volunteer. They do. We, we have less than 1% of the population volunteering to do things that the rest of us, it, given the chance, have not done. It, 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 it's when you stop and think about it, and it's, I think it's part and parcel of getting older and more mature, but the, the awe and, and the respect you have for people who do it, and we're talking people 18, 19, 20, all the way up to the mid 30s and 40s, it really something I think we need to be consciously grateful of and thankful for each and every day. You know, I went to Normandy a couple of years ago uh, for the second time, and I went to the American Cemetery. It doesn't matter which cemetery you go to or which memorial, you, you look at the, the tombstones or the, the walls with the names, and you'll see the age, 19. The, the number 19, it seems to be the most common uh, name or age that you see, 19, 20, or, or so forth. And uh, the thing that, that I uh, always try to do when I encounter military people is thank them. And I try to do it in a way that, that sounds serious and meaningful, not just perfunctory. Uh, we've all got our stories, but I'll tell you what you're doing here, this is really crucial. I don't think people are aware, and I know you're going to get into this in, the, in your program. People are unaware of just how little is actually done for frontline troops by the country and government. The, the, the packages you put together 
are things they wouldn't have otherwise. And it's, it's, I think people are gonna be shocked when they hear you go through this. You know, that is an excellent point because we are the only, literally the only organization left in America today that actually provides frontline care packages for our troops. And that's because people think, they assume wrongly that our troops have been returned, that there was a drawdown under President Obama. And it absolutely is not true. In fact, there are 30,000 men and women who are still serving in harm's way. But let me tell you something, Rush. You, I met you when I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother, who is two years, really? was two older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 none of that. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out how old I was. <laughs> you were 23. <laughs> but let me tell you, he passed away last year. He served um, with the Special Forces. He was uh, an Army Green Beret. And the show is dedicated to him today. But he listened to you every single day. And he would call me and he would comment on the things that you were commenting on. And it, it was a part of our relationship that kept us together, that bound us together from an outlaw. I mean, the two of us were the outlaw conservatives in our family. And so it right. was, it, but it reminds me today of what we have to do. And the promise that I gave my brother was that we would make sure that Nobody is forgotten ever because I'll never forget on the United States Senate floor, Dick Durbin called our troops baby rapers and killers. Oh, and oh. that inspired me to form Move America Forward. And I said, never again. And so with the help of people like you and others, we won't let them be forgotten. Yeah, but here again, I mean, people don't stop. To, okay, here you're collecting money and you're, you're generating revenue here to put together care packages. But... Are you going to go into detail about how you actually get the stuff there? I mean, all of this, I think it's incredible what you're able to accomplish here. I mean, you just can't call FedEx and say, <laughs> priority one tomorrow morning, cobble. Right. <laughs> no, we are going to, we're going to go yeah. into that. We're going to tell everybody about that and, and how amazing our volunteers are because 88 cents of every dollar that you have donated over the years, our single largest contributor to this organization, 88 cents out of every dollar goes towards the care and comfort items that we've got here. Um, and we'll show you those. And, and only 14 cents of the dollar goes to administrative costs. And that is because despite what everybody says, we make sure that our volunteers are an integral part of our organization. And you've seen that because uh, you know what we do here. I do, I absolutely do. And I, by the way, speaking of, I wanna to pledge to you the same amount, I'm not gonna mention it because it's not the point. The same amount that, that I donated last year, you can count on again this year. Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Everybody, absolutely! It's, it's, I'll it's, tell you, it's, it's more than a dollar, everybody. It, it's by more far. than a dollar fifty. <laughs> it's a dollar fifty. It's a dollar okay? fifty. All right. Wow, Rush, you are amazing. You know, my hero. Wow, absolutely. Rush, you are absolutely. Rush, I just want to also have you. You talked about your dad too, and just and and the thoughts. I think you hit on something really important too, because I, I meet some young people. I just did a commencement speech recently, I graduated. A lot of these people, they were like, oh, tell us a little bit about 9-11, tell us about, and it floored me because it was such an a, a, a earth shattering moment in the world. But the how years go by is. fast and yes. we've got, yeah. you know, young, it's not their fault. I mean, it just, you, you, it's generational. We've, uh, w w when's the last war that you would think that you could say off the top of your head that it was a slam dunk victory? without any controversy, and it, it's Gulf War One. It's way back in the early 1990s, and then maybe maybe getting Saddam and so forth, but that was even fraught with controversy. Uh, before that Vietnam, we lost. Uh, people don't remember a victorious, triumphant, celebratory United States at war. And in that time, we've, we've had, you know, everything's become politicized, and everything seems to be done uh, for the purposes of advancing political agendas, and if if it if it becomes profitable, say for a political party to ridicule or criticize or de-emphasize the military, then that's what people growing up are going to hear. So that's another reason why what you're doing is crucially important, and you're going to be applauded for it. And I don't I'm not just trying to butter you guys up. I think it's very seriously uh, commendable that that you're taking the time and effort to do this. And it's. I tell you something, folks, it's not easy to ask people for money. It really isn't. And this is the one day a year these two ladies do it. And it's um, it's well worth your attention to uh, uh, maybe try to help them out a little bit because it's there's no better cause than this one. Okay, now Rush. you're going to make me cry. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> well, Rush, Rush, and I just want to say thank you, too. You know, Melanie said it, too. Uh -huh. But 
thank you for all you do every day because you are a tireless supporter of the troops and getting the word out on your radio show. You know, sometimes you know, you're sitting there. There are so many people that, that care about this country and love this country because of what you do. So thank you on behalf of us and all the troops. Thank you so much. Have a, have a great next six hours or five and a half, whatever it is, and, and uh, hope, hope you set a record. Yeah, hope well, you thank keep... you. You Thanks. started it. You started <laughs> it, our friend. Thank you. I got to say. I... Thank you. We love you. Thank you, Rush. Wow. Every time, Everybody. Every oh my time gosh. I get an email back from Rush when I ask him to come on our program every year, I literally fall off my chair. I can't understand why he is so generous with his time. But, well, I mean, I know why he is, because he, care, he cares as deeply and as passionately as we do. He does. But How it beautiful. always amazes me. I literally have to, I gasp when he says, I'm happy to help. Yeah, and by the way, I, I, this is the first. How many people say that Rush Limbaugh brings you to tears? He brought me to tears. He did, too. He did, just here. And, and by the way, that was an extremely generous donation. I'm, I'm I telling think we're you, okay to say it, don't I, you? I, I can tell you it's a six-figure donation. It's a six-figure donation. And that money yes. goes to keeping this Which organization an alive, you know, in, in a time. Yeah. So I and just want to say again, thank you, Rush Limbaugh. Absolutely. And everybody, as you just heard, you know, no matter whatever you can give, whether it's, a, it's the Rush Limbaugh or if it's just getting one care package, every bit that you give, as you just heard from Rush, helps us. So please make sure that you give us a call right now. We're going to be on for the next few hours, 844-2-TROOPS.